and welcome to the pet room. So everyone has just been cleaned out and I wanted to show you their cages. So if you hear some noise, that's just the dehumidifier running. It gets humid here in Canada during the summer months. So starting off here on our left is the herd's cage. Hi Reese. Do you want a little snack? <laughs> oh no! We dropped a piece. Let me get it. Here. We dropped a piece. So these guys are on thankful animals. So the herd's cage consists of six guinea pigs. This section here is a 3x8. And this section here is a 3x4. So the Thankful Animals print is a very old print. So we've got a couch under here, a cuddle cup, and over here there's just a little run through area with the wood logs, and a foam tunnel. Reese is following me thinking I have something else for her. Sweetie, that's it, we're doing a cage tour. So over here are double ceramic dishes. They're the Naturals line, Boredom Breaker. I believe that's a Rosewood brand. There's Hucky over there. So in the center we have two open-ended snuggle sacks. There's another foam tunnel back there. And a couple more cuddle cups underneath the little fleece canopy. There's Pecan, she's going into one of the snuggle sacks. And she's back out. So over here is their little eating area. So we have our custom wood hay boxes. If you want to learn more about those, I'll put something up in an iCard. So in the hay boxes is orchard grass hay. And the piles that you see is Timothy. So there's Apple over there. Not sure where... Oh, I think Velvie's in a tunnel over there. So there's another cuddle cup there in the corner. And we have another wood logs to chew, to run through. And there's little baby Ray Ray in there. Cutest little bum. So in their eating area, there is also a bunch of water bottles. The herd has five different water bottles just so that they never run out or if one ever malfunctions, there's tons more. So that is their gorgeous cage. Unfortunately for the thankful animals, I only have three large cage liners. The other ones we have used are black. If that print ever came back, oh, I'd be all over getting it. It's such a pretty print. But I think it's from, oh, maybe five years ago or more. But the liners still look just as good as the first day I got them. Hey, Huckster. So that's the herds. So now we are going on to Annalise and Annabelle's cage. So they have a beautiful theme of Belle. So this is a newer print that we have gotten. So all the cozies are from Cindy's Cozy Co. So you can find her on Etsy and Instagram. And then the cage liners are from Zoe and Lilo's Toy Box. So the 1x2s aren't the Belle theme. I still have to get those to be wicking before I can use them. If you guys need to know how to wick fleece, I'll put a little eye card up above for how to do that. So they just have some cream liners where they're going to be peeing and pooping the most. So these girls, obviously this is their little hay station and they have a water bottle on either side. And then we have a wood log on either side of this cube because this cube has four entrances so two over there and two on the side which is really cool don't you think Annie whoops you bumped into your sister or did she bump into you so you can see all the way through the end which is pretty cool so these girls are being rowdy today so we have a foam tunnel over here And then we have a gorgeous couch back here. Oh, and then look at our 
little fleece forest bell with the little rose print for the little dangly pieces. So in this other corner we have a cube, one of the cubes that just has two entrances. And they have their double dish. How pretty is that fleece print though? So gorgeous. So Annalise and Annabelle's cage is a 3x5. And who knows where they went off to. So now into Angus and Autumn's cage we are into bumblebees. So these guys have a 3x4.5. There's Angus and Autumn eating their Sherwood pellets. So as we are filming this, Autumn is now a year old, which is awesome. What a gorgeous lady. So over here we have a really cool beehive bed that is from Cindy. Cindy's Cozy Co. Inside it looks like bees are flying around. So the back is flat so that it can go against a wall. How cool is that? I just love it. So in the middle section here is where their wood logs are. So these guys really do enjoy having their wood logs when they're eating their hay. So just like the other cages, they have more than one water bottle for safety. Under here we have a large kettle cup. And under here we have another beehive type bed. This one is a piggy wood bowl made into a beehive from Valerie's Cozy Shop and Piggy Stop. So it used to be Valerie's Zoo and she just changed her name not long ago in case you're wondering who that is. So it's a really cute bed. I'll see if I can get a better look at it. And then these guys have a really cute bee fleece forest. And a little bee pad so they can come around and eat the hay on this side too if they like. So this one has little bees that are velcroed on that I can take off when I wash it. It's really cute. Look at our little fuzzy wuzzy. He's got so much fur right now. And he's just the cutest. I just think he's adorable when he's all fuzzy. Well, he's always adorable, but extra adorable. So yeah, let's just do an overview of everybody. So we've got the bee hive and bee cage. Let me know which one's your favorite. Then we're coming on over here to Belle. Look at that print. I really like all the pale pastel-y colors. Really pretty. Tons of poops in there. I just finished cleaning too. Look how cute that couch is. Oh, hello, Annabelle. And then we got our pretty fall theme. How are you? You white beautiful lady. You having a snack? There's another beautiful lady. Who looks so pretty with this fleece, doesn't she? Oh, <laughs> uh, look at little Hucky's paws. They're sticking straight out. You comfy little man? See Reese back there, I see Melby's bum. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video.
Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!